Hi, I'm Joe Haley. Come on, come on back to school with me. That's right, today we are looking at the education market. We're going to look at the number of schools in this country. We'll also take a glance at some of the organizations within those schools and what some of their promotional needs might be. We also have a special education theme product section. All that coming ahead in today's Joe Show. <music> Okay, let's look at the size of the school market. Now, growing up in the 70s, I lived in a town called Roslyn, PA. We were just north of Philadelphia, a small town, but there were still four elementary schools. There were three within the school district, and there was one parochial school. Now, uh, things are a little different, but we're going to look at the numbers. According to U.S. Department of Education, there's 98,000 plus public elementary and secondary schools. There's also 4,694 charter schools, and there's 3,021 magnet schools. Now, what about those Catholic schools? According to the National Catholic Education Association, they report 8,000 parochial schools. Now, when we go a little higher in our education, we're going to find out, and this is according to the National Center for Education Statistics, that there's 4,000 plus colleges and universities. How about student body? Well, the U.S. Department of Education says there are 50 million students in the K to 12 range, and of those high school students, 6.9 million our student athletes. So you can see there's a lot of need out here for students to have logoed gear to show school pride, to show a little school spirit. We're going to get into that a little later. Okay. No school is built alike. They're all a little different, and they'll all have different promotion needs. Now, a preschool has different needs than the elementary school. They'll have different needs than the junior highs and the middle schools. Probably a little different there, too, for high schools, and then when you get into colleges and universities, it's all different. But you can't forget about the other schools within that mix. Private schools, parochial schools might do things differently than the public schools will. As well, we can't forget about vocational schools because they, too, will have their needs. Now, there's a lot out there going on right now that's going to affect school budgets. you got to look at what they're doing. Some of these states, they're slashing education budgets, and there's not going to be money to go into things that they might have had last year. So it's time to be creative. How do you still provide things for students, for faculty, for volunteers, for the PTA without breaking your budget? Well, you got to think for help along the ways of corporations out there. A lot of corporations are eager to help schools, but it's important for you to understand how they can help. You don't want outright advertising and commercials. They've got to have something that's educational and valuable to you, the school, and to the students in order for you to want them to put their products, logoed products, along with the school's logo on a product to give to students, to give to volunteers, to give to parents. When we come back, we're going to look at some of the clubs within schools that are going to need some promoting help. Okay, some people might be thinking, other than sports teams, what do we really need to carry a school logo or school mascot? Well, if you have a school store, look in there, and I'm sure you have things like decals and bumper stickers. There's probably book covers and folders, as well as wearables from hoodies to polo shirts to t-shirts, maybe even jackets, hats, and scarves. Anything that a student can wear or use to show their school pride is important, but also think about the groups and clubs within the school. Sports teams, naturally, they need warm-ups, they need uniforms, they need hoodies and jackets, okay, but don't forget about the band. The band needs the same thing. Also, all the clubs from the Key Club to the Chess Club, Honor Society, they all need a variety of different logoed products. It shows their affiliation with that club within their school. And it's just not the varsity athletes that need to be proud about their accomplishments. Everyone within a school needs to be proud. So how do we go about getting these? Well, for football teams, soccer teams, any sports teams, there's usually a booster club. And a lot of these products can be logoed and sold. Or they can be part of a fundraising event where maybe there's a walk-a-thon, there's a 5K run where these products will be given to people who participate and actually pay a registration fee. Now again, the parents can fit, uh, foot this bill or you can ask local businesses, local corporations to help sponsor these events. A t-shirt with a big school mascot on the front is great, and on the back there could be smaller logos of all the corporations that are supporting this event. So it's not outward advertising. Everyone still gets the shirt that they need, and the corporations get that little bump that they're going to need as well. So what type of 
products can you put on, uh, a, a logo on? Well, we're not going to look at the traditional things. We're going to look at something a little different, and we're going to give you some ideas of where these products will work. That's coming up just next. And we are back. Now we have some products to show you that will work in the education market. Now, we know that students will always need pens and pencils and they'll always need erasers and rollers and stuff. So we're going to look at things a little different and give you some ideas of how you can use these for the schools. All right, let's start off with this first one. This is made of neoprene. I'm going to tilt this so Craig can see it. It actually has 12 water bottles in there. So this is great for sports teams. Think about that when the teams are on the sidelines, they either get a big water jug or sometimes they have those little carriers with the squirt bottles in it. This is a different way to do it. You can chill down the water bottles before the games, keep them in a, a school refrigerator, put them in this neoprene uh, sack, and then on the sidelines, the managers can go out at halftime at uh, football games or just have them on the sidelines for soccer games, baseball games, and carry the school logo here. Also, it could be something that could be sold in the school uh, store as well with the school logo on it, and parents might like to take this on vacation with them. All right, every student needs a backpack, and backpacks can be very expensive, but what I found with my two boys, 15 and 16 years old, is that they really like the drawstring bag. So I want to show you this drawstring bag. Uh, this is pretty nice because it's got the thicker uh, strings here, so it's not cutting into someone's shoulder. And, you know, it cinches like any other one does. And in the front, if you can see here, there's a pocket. And you open up the pocket right there, there's a little grommet there. Well, through there can come uh, earbuds, the uh, cord for an earbud. So the student can still listen to their music when they're walking around uh, to and from school. Um, this is great because a lot of students take their gym clothes in. Sometimes they bring them home. My students, my kids don't always bring them home. But this is great for gym clothing um, to have an after school activity like track and field or basketball practice. Again, that equipment can be put in here and they can take it along. All right, now, some kids don't copy down their homework. Well, why? My kids always say, I don't have anything to write on, which isn't true. But here's something that can be given out to each student at the beginning of the school year. And these are just simple notepads. And uh, the PTA or the Home and School Board can uh, sponsor these products. Again, it can carry a school logo on it, school mascot on it, and every student can get one. Now, you can also develop a plan that once they fill one up, they can get another one. However, you make them hand in or at least show you the one that's been filled up so they're not losing it. So they, they have to retain it. If they lose it, they got to buy another one. You can charge them a nominal fee. But this is great for all students. Okay, schools, groups, they all have affiliations. There's sports teams and again, there's Honor Society and there's Students of the Month and there's Students of the Week, Students of the Day, whatever it is. So you need lapel pins. And I'm going to show you this first one here. This can just be a simple logo the school uh letter um this one here craig stay with me i'm gonna try to hold up there so you can get in close on this this would be great for a hockey team or it could have any uh sports ball put on there and this is great for a baseball team and again you can get the bigger lapel pin for um, any of the other sports teams. What I like about these is everyone on the team can get one. They can put them on a backpack. They can put them on a baseball cap. They can put them on the lapel of a jacket. So they don't just have to wear it on a suit jacket. They wear it anywhere. It's actually what I do with some of these. I have some in my office. You take out the back and you use the push pin on a cork board. So there's a lot of different things that students can use these for. And again, it's a great way to show their affiliation with a club, with a sports team, or the fact that they won an honor. First honor, second honor, as they were actually voted the student of the month. All right. You might think I'm crazy here, but I love this. These are socks, logo socks. This one says, we are one. So we are one big Big happy school. Here's a, a longer uh, sock here. This has got the school's mascot on it, the Blue Jays, great for the baseball team and the softball teams. But if you haven't been to a school pep rally lately at homecome or you haven't seen pictures from it, the students really do a lot of different things to show their school spirit and their pride. Why not sponsor these socks? All the students get them and they can wear shorts for the day and everyone has a great saying on their, uh, on their legs that supports their school, supports the upcoming homecoming game. Okay, this one. This is great, especially for, um, for college-age students. Now, when I brought this in, Craig says, what is that? It looks like a giant uh, pot holder. And I said, well, not really, but it does absorb heat. This is actually a laptop pad. Now, college students, they take their laptop, they're at the library, they're doing a lot of work, and that thing's on 
for a couple hours, that starts to get hot. And you know, if it gets overheated, you can have problems. Now, if they had this pad, they put this on the tabletop, they put their laptop on top of this pad, and the pad starts to absorb the heat from the uh, laptop and kind of disperses it. So the laptop runs cooler than it normally would on a hard surface. So this is great for college students. Now, who could sponsor this? You know, local coffee houses in the area, um, you know, any of the other clubs and organizations that want to give it to their members uh, can actually put a logo on this and give it to anyone at the school. All right, students, especially athletes, but all students have a need for water bottles, whether it's at school or away from school. And Craig's going to come on this one. You'll see that there's two rubber bands here, okay? Then that's blue. You can get it in the school color. And it's got the matching band on the top here. And that little hole can accept a carabiner or a little chain so it can be attached to a book bag. And it's got a, a rubber grommet to keep the liquids in. It's got a nice uh, top here. It's made out of metal, so you don't have to worry about any of the plastic um, chemicals that get into, you know, leach into the plastics in the drink. So, again, sports teams can use this. Any activities, any club can use this. Um, and, again, it can be used inside of school and outside of school. And outside of school, if you got the school colors, you have the school mascot on there, you're always going to show your school pride. And a lot of kids like to do that. When they go away on vacation, they have their school, you know, hoodie on, T-shirt on and say, hey, look where I go to school. This is one, almost like a Tupperware container, and that's the best way to describe it, even though it's not Tupperware. And in this lid here, that's a gel. You put this lid in the freezer, and this gel will freeze. So the next morning, the student, they get their lunch. Mom, dad makes the lunch. They put the sandwich in here. They take this out of the freezer. So they don't have a refrigerator a lot of times to put your school lunch into. It's got to stay in your locker. This is going to keep that sandwich cold. So maybe the student also likes to have a salad occasionally. This would fit a nice little salad. So it's not just good for elementary school students. High school students take their uh, lunch to school. College students might take a lunch from their dorm or from an apartment after living off campus into the uh, dining hall to eat. So again, a great product for students. Pens, we talked about pens, standard pens, so I want to show you something different. I think that these are great. This is the Goofy Group, and these are great fun pens to give to students. This one has a number one uh, finger raise, so you're number one. You had the best test score. You had the best attendance for the month. You were the student of the month. There's a variety of reasons why students get this. All right. Peace. Okay, this could be for a lot of schools now have these programs where kids try to talk out their problems, you know, anti-bullying programs. Instead of bullying someone, they sit down with a peer group and they talk things out uh, to try to dispel the or um, kind of shut down the violence in some schools. They have these groups too. So the, with the peace sign here, it would work. Say, look, you know, you are working for a more p a peaceful school, so anyone who's a part of that club could have this. And again, this could be the same process, you know, or idea as the number one finger. That's the big five, uh, high five. Give me a high five because you did great in whatever it was, the math test, the spelling test. So again, I think a student would love to have this. Got a little suction cup. They can stick it on their desk, take it home, put it on their desk in their bedroom, and it's going to show that they did something special. I have one more product I want to show you, and I would be remiss if I did not have a wearable to show you. And um, this is a quarter zip uh, warm-up shirt. Um, it's got a nice fabric. It's got logo um, all over the place. You got one on the collar. You have one here on the left chest. We have contrasting colors in the sleeves and the shoulders. And again, warm-ups for any athlete, baseball, basketball, soccer, uh, football, maybe when they're going through their calisthenics prior to the game and padding up. Um, also good to sell in a school store. I think this it's a nice looking piece and any student would like to wear it. It's a little different than the hoodie. And the thing with hoodies, some schools have outlawed them completely. Most schools, if they uh, allow their, their students to wear them, they do not allow them to wear the hood on um, because you can't see their faces. So uh, hoods have to be down. So this is an alternative to that. And again, it can go to any of the, uh, any of the other clubs too, band members can wear this, um, chess club can wear this. So anyone who has an affiliation within that school or for the school itself, sell it at the bookstore, use it as a fundraising uh, product. Okay, those are all the products I wanted to show you today. Now remember, for your marker, for schools, you still have a need to show your spirit, to show where you go to school. Students need that. You need gifts for PTA. Any of these products might work for the PTA members, volunteers for a variety of the events that go on throughout the year. Think creatively. Think of how you can put your logo on a number of products, why you want to give it to students, why you want to get it out to people, and we think you'll be successful with those promotions. Well, thanks a lot for watching. If you need any information on any of the products you saw here, please contact your distributor partner, and he'd be happy to help you. 
This is ASI TV.